Today, we are going to be taking a look at this stupidly simple multi-floor elevator. Now, I have tried my best to make this as simple and as easy to build as I possibly can. As normally, multi-floor elevators, they can be anywhere from gigantic to still pretty massive. There's no really like a proper small one. Anyway, I try my best to make it as compacted as possible. So now it fits inside a six by six area. Now this elevator is survival friendly as not only can you build it easily in survival, but it also doesn't take any damage in survival mode as well, which means you can use it for literally anything. And what's probably the best feature about this as you can have as many floors as you possibly want. So you could go all the way up to 60 floors if you really wanted to. And all the floors are identical. Anyway, that's enough of me explaining. Let's take a look at this cracking build. Hello everyone, my name is Tonka. Welcome back to another redstone video for the bedrock edition of Minecraft. And today, I've got something a little bit special as we're going to be taking a look at this stupidly small multi-floor elevator. Now, if you remember me, if you've been subscribed since the very beginning, then you'll know my second ever video was an elevator just like this one. However, that one was you gigantic humongous. So, I spent the past couple of weeks compacting it down to now this it's only six by six it's just tiny now here in front of me i have a sixth floor elevator and the elevator company on the fifth floor so to use it it's very simple there's only two buttons on either floor so you go all the way to the back you stand on these two boxes here and you click whether you want to go down or you want to go up so let's say i wanted to go down the floor you click the button the safety does close you move your way downwards and as you can see i'm on floor number four so let's go back up so number six we go to number six you get the drill so basically you can have as many floors as you want and it's very simple to control you basically click whether what what you want to go down or you want to go up and you will go down or up one floor like you say let's say you want to go on the sixth floor and you want to go all the way down to the bottom then you just have to keep on doing this and keep on pressing the down button. As you can see, it's not seamless. You can see this elevator here. Anyway, that's enough of the showcasing done. Let's crack on with this amazing tutorial. Bear in mind that each of those floors over there are exactly the same and they all look identical to this. So if you can fit this in one of your builds, then you should be able to fit at least another two, which means you have a multi-floor elevator. Now per every layer, you are going to need all these items. So all of this equivalents to one layer. Now this does not include the flying machine. So how many layers you have, you need to times this by that number. So let's say you have three layers, you need to get three times of this. Let's say you have a hundred layers, you need to get a hundred times this. And then this is just for the flying machine so you need you only need one of these once you got that let's crack on bear in mind you are going to need a six by six square to fit this in so once you got that let's crack on again for the second time so i'm going to be starting off on the very ground floor and what you want to do if you want to place in two soil blocks just right at the front there now these two blocks equivalent to the very bottom so these two blocks over here are the same as these two blocks over here you don't want to come to either side of these two blocks you need to put one up just like so two more blocks on top of these two more blocks on top of these and then another two blocks just finishing the roof like so these two blocks are where your buttons are going to go now here you can also place in your two item frames and your two stairs so the bottom on the left over here this is going to be the down button so tilt the stair so it's going downwards then on the right this is going to be the up button so bear that in mind i just use item frames to know which is which or i don't go down and up when i'm not supposed to so now you want to come to the right button over here you want to come to the back and you're placing a block just below this block like so with the rest on dust here so when you press this button the rest on dust turns on you don't want to come all the way around to the back and you're placing a block next to that block with a block in front of its face and so now when you press this button that piston should fire you don't want to place a restaurant repeater on top of this piston over here you want to put a block in front of its face and a block below it you want to move this middle block over here and this is where you're going to put redstone dust there so now if you press this button all of that stuff should activate so now you want to do a sort of x shape you want to come a block in the middle like so a block to the bottom right and then a block up like so. So it looks something like this. On this middle block over here, you can put a four titular repeater going away into that direction. And on this block, just to the bottom right of this, you want to place a redstone repeater going into that redstone dust. You don't want to put a block just straight behind that repeater over there. You want to place another block just right upwards like so. And you put a piece of redstone dust on both of these. You don't want to go ahead and get yourself your redstone torches and you need to place a redstone torch on this block like so. So, so far, when you click that button, that redstone torch 
should turn on off even so now what you want to do if you want to come back around over here and you want to place a block just below this like so with another piece of redstone dust on it you don't want to stack up two blocks next to it you want to place two blocks downwards and you need to place a downwards facing piston just on top of this block like so so this would mean that when this fires it should extend you don't want to put rest on torches on either side as you can see now that sticky piston should continuously be firing so now you want to come back around to the front and you want to come to the left button over here you want to place a top half slab like so you don't want to get yourself another sticky piston and you want to place another sticky piston just to the right of that half slab with another block just in front of its face you don't want to place another block here and here with a half slab just on top of this block with another piece of redstone dust. You don't place a block to the left, another piece of redstone dust, another block, a block up, a block down, destroy the center block, and on top of this bottom block over here, you're gonna place a redstone repeater facing away from that block. You don't place a block in front of this repeater's face, just like so, with another piece of redstone dust on it. So it looks something like this. Make sure that the redstone repeater is facing that direction. You don't want to come around to the other side and you want to place in a redstone torch just on top of this block. So now you want to come back around to the bottom and you want to place in two blocks just next to this redstone torch. So let's say you would have placed in a redstone dust here and then a repeater here. They both should be turning on. You don't want to move around just across on this block. You want to place a block down here with a piece of redstone dust on top of that. You don't want to place two more blocks just coming upwards and then you want to place half slab just on top of those like so. You want to place a row of blocks just in between these two layers like so. You don't want to connect these two sides together with a row of slabs just going all the way across this. Link that up with the redstone dust. And there we go. That is one layer done. So now we're going to moving on to all of the middle layers. So now it is time for your middle layers. Now you can make these as close or as far as apart as you possibly can. So let's say if you wanted to, you could build the layer right here, meaning that these blocks over here mean this one blocks over here, and it'll still fit in fine. This is what I've done over here, as you can see, they are right on top of each other, however, just so for like easiness, so you guys know how to build them farther apart, as you can be as you can build these any distance apart as you want to. They do not they do not have to be on top of each other. I'm just going to be building it three blocks on top of each other. Like so. So these bottom blocks over here are going to be these blocks over here. Anyway, so now we're starting off with the same two blocks just like so. You don't want to place blocks on either side of this. Another blocks on top of that. Blocks on top of those ones. And then finish it off with a roof. You don't want to place any buttons on the either side of these blocks. You want to place in your item frames on either side. You want to set a stair so that it is going downwards a stair so it's facing upwards you want to come to the right hand side button over here you want to place in a block just below this with redstone dust on it a sticky piston facing towards the button with a block in front of its face so that when you fire this the piston extends you want to place a redstone repeater on top of that sticky piston with a block next to it a block upwards and a block downwards with redstone dust here you don't want to make your x shape so just placing a little triangle to destroy the middle block so it looks something like this you want to place in a redstone repeater set to a four ticks like so, or the rest of the piece is set to one tick firing into that block. And then on this center block over here is where you're going to be placing your torch. You want to come to the back, you want to place a block behind this rest of the repeater, a block to the right and a block upwards, with the rest of the dust on both of those. You want to place a block here and a block here, destroy that block. With the rest of the dust here, you want to place two blocks upwards, get yourself a piston, face that facing downwards, destroy the two temporary blocks, you fire this and now the piston should always be extended. You want to place a rest of the torch on the opposite side over here. You then to come round back over to the neglected side. You want to place in a half slab here, a piece of rest and dust on top of that. You then want to place another sticky piston facing that sticky piston once again a block on top of it with two more blocks just like so. You then want to place another upper half slab like so, a block to the left, more rest and dust and then three blocks like so. Destroy this middle block and replace it with a rest and piece to set to four ticks. You then want to place a block in front of that one redstone dust and then you want to place a torch on this block you don't want to place a block underneath this redstone torch a block another one destroy this one you want to place all rows of blocks destroy this block so it should go dust repeater and then another dust and then you want to connect these two with slabs both of which should have redstone dust all along them you want to place two more temporary blocks here both of which have our hard slab and then connecting this leg to this one you want to once again put a row of blocks going all the way up here 
like so. So you want to do that for as many middle layers as you want. So let's say you want eight floors in total. So six of those floors are going to be middle layers as the one of those is going to be bottom and one of them is going to be top. So do not place in your very top floor yet. Just do as many middle floors as you want. And the same things apply. So let's say you're going to do another middle one. You can just go ahead, place in another row of three blocks. And then here is going to be your starting point for another one. However, in this case, this is going to be my top floor. As I only want one middle floor, so I'm going to make a three floor elevator. So the top floor is just like any of the other ones. So you're starting off with these two bottom floors. You're going to place a block on either end of these, like so. More blocks, another row of blocks, and then a roof connecting it all together. Two buttons on both of these, two writing frames. This stair facing downwards, this stair facing upwards. But because this is the top floor, you're not going to be going upwards anymore. So basically, you can just remove these floors and the same goes for the very bottom one. You are not going to be going downwards, so you can remove the downwards one. However, the middle ones, keep both of those buttons. And the same thing applies even if there is no button here. So you want to place a block just to the left of this. Rest don't dust. Get yourself a sticky piston and place in a sticky piston facing away with another block in front of its face. You want to place a restaurant pizza just to the front like this. Three blocks, destroy the center block. Then you want to go ahead and make your X shape. Rest on just here. Repeater set to four ticks and then a repeater set to one tick. You want to come to the back. You want to place a piece of block just below this. Then a piece of block to the right of it. Both of which would have rest stone dust on top of them. You then place a block here, a block here, remove that block, rest stone dust, and then want to pillow up two blocks. Then, if you remember, this is going to be where you're going to place in your downwards piston. Go ahead, go ahead and remove these two blocks. Torches on either side of these. You then want to move round to the other side. So top half slab just like so, and then it's going to be a sticky piston facing this way with a block in front of its face. You then to place two more blocks just like so, a block up, piece of restaurant dust on top of that. Then to get yourself a solid block, place the block here, a block up, a block to the left, and then a block down, destroy this block. You're going to place a repeater set to four to six, and then a piece of rest stone dust, and then a rest stone torch here, and you also want to place in your rest stone torch on this middle block. Now you want to place in a block just below the sticky piston, all the rows of blocks, destroy this one and this one. You're going to put a rest stone dust repeater, and then another rest stone dust over here. This should mean that both of those should be fired now. And you want to connect, oops, you want to connect these two sides together with just a row of rest stone dust like so. We're going to place in more blocks here and then top half lab like so. Then finally, we're going to be connecting these two with more blocks pillaring upwards. So that is all your different levels done. Now we just have to build the actual flying machine itself. So you want to come to your very bottom floor. Now you want to make sure that you are in line with these very bottom blocks like so. I'm going to destroy blocks here, here, here and here. You then want to dig down another two time which makes it a three deep hole in total and you can place in one. You then want to remove these blocks just like so and you can place in one obsidian here. You then want to place in a slime block just on top of that observer, no, on top of that obsidian with a piston facing to the back. You want to place an observer so that it's going into that slime block so let's say you remove the block in front of it it activates the sticky piston. Then we place an observer on top of that normal piston with three slime blocks just like so and then a sticky piston here and another slime block here. You then want to come around to the front and where there is two slime blocks that are identical next to each other this is where the floor block of your elevator is going to go. You can also place in this redstone block and that should make this fire. It also should make that sticky piston fire upwards and remove these safety doors which you can then place in these two blocks. You then want to place in three more slime blocks just on top of that sticky piston and you want to place another sticky piston facing downwards just on this bottom slime block. If you placed it right it should be extending. You then want to place two more slime blocks just to the left observer facing that direction with this sticky piston facing downwards and then observer going into that block. So now we can go ahead and test this flying machine. So to go upwards, we click this and it looks like we have done it wrong. So just to make sure that none of the blocks are touching the slime blocks, in my case, these ones were over here. So now let's go and try it and hopefully if I press the button, there we go. As you can see, the elevator is going upwards to the next floor. In fact, I've forgotten to place in the roof of the elevator. Go ahead and just place in the roof like so. And of course, put in the floor. You can then send it up another layer and you can do this until you get to the very top layer. So now we're on the top layer, you want to go and fill in this, but also what you want to do, this is only if you're on the top floor. So once you're on the very top floor, 
you want to go ahead and place an obsidian just one on top of that flying machine which makes it just in case it ever happens somehow the flying machine if it were to send upwards it won't go upwards and you won't lose it forever Whew, that was that was a pretty difficult one to do a tutorial on anyway now it's all done all that's left for you to do is decorate it anyway that's all from me i hope you have fun with your new simple elevator and i will see you all later